Hello everyone, I'm your host, Metal Horror Gamer, and I'm with... Hey, it's me, Mother Mischief here. And today, we just wanted to discuss something that went down yesterday, and... Man. It's disgusting. It is. To, to see what happened. Now, if you don't know, which I'm pretty sure, pretty sure anyone who's watching the video does know... Um, yes. The, uh, Richard C. Meyer, the the one who runs Diversity in Comics YouTube channel, has been you know promoting his you know his his own uh, graphic novel for the last month called uh, Jawbreakers Lost Souls. Yeah, and it has been phenomenal. It broke. It, it's it, breaking its own you know, records, it, it, shattering. It easily made its goal the first day, and it's been going yes. up ever since. And on the last day, you know. We we found out that a few uh, people that work at a few comic book stores were trying to private privately collude against the book and trying to say that they weren't going to stock it and they weren't going to even allow customers to come in and ask for it. If they if they asked for it, they yeah. weren't even going to buy it for them, and they were going to try to not support anything the publisher, which is Antarctic Press, anything they come out with anymore. And just just because of this one book, and all all, the, all they did was make they made the sales go higher. They you actually know, pushed it. A you know, they, lot. Put, they pushed it higher. <laughs> but recently, since Diversity in Comics showed these people's not private information, public information about where they work and what stores these were, this wasn't private information. This is you can go to Google and you can find all this easily. So, but for some reason, all these SJW creators got pissed off for no reason, and they all started harassing Antarctic Press. And these people are always the victims. They're always saying mm-hmm. we're always being harassed. We're always being we're but always yet being they're bullied. The first to always harass others. And then what did they do? They Mark Wade was the leader of this whole charge, and he attacked Antarctic Press bullying a smaller publisher to not release a book why well probably because the real reason why is his book in sales technically is destroying all of their books their graphic novels their comics he's easily going past all their their books and i think they just don't want any real competition they want to keep the comic industry a little small weirdo club and they don't want they don't want it growing. They don't want anyone putting anything fun out there anymore. Everything has to be political. Everything has to be SJW. They don't yeah. want any any fun out in the books no more. And they pretty much kept harassing Antarctic Press nonstop. And so Antarctic Press had to back out of the project. They had to say, we can't, we're not going to publish the book because what happened. And it, it's been a shit show, and there's been some rumors coming out about Mark Wade now, because technically what he may have did may have been illegal, mm-hmm. in, in a sense. Because in a sense, he's from a bigger publisher, Marvel, mm-hmm. and pretty much bullied and threatened a smaller publisher, trying to strong arm them by saying, you better not release this book out. Trying to force, you know... Trying to force the book to never be released by them, and all these other SGWs were joining in, and this is kind of illegal. You can't, you can't do this, Mm-mm. you know. And all of a sudden, Mark Wade's Facebook is deleted. He's, you know, his Twitter's been deleted for a yeah. while, I think. And no one knows why either. He just did it to get rid of the evidence. Or there's another thing I'm gonna, I'm going to read right now, and then we'll talk about it after I read it. And we don't know if it's true or not, but. It's something, and it could be true. We don't. We don't know. Yeah, it's like just kind of weird. Diversity in Comics is the one who actually um, reposted it on Twitter. But I'll read it. I'll read it for you right now. It says full disclaimer: None of what is posted below has been confirmed by any kind of official source. So, in terms of authenticity, it should be taken with an absolute grain of salt. It was something I came across on 4chan, so I fully acknowledge that it could be a load of bullshit. That being said, I figured that I'd post it here anyways, seeing seeing as how it was just too intriguing to ignore. But this what this is the post. I work at Marvel. Some information some information for you guys. Wade was ordered to delete fucking everything social media wise by Sabolski. Sabolski got some very angry emails from Antarctic Press, lawsuits, threatening letters, and 
in terms of Wade explicitly explicitly using Marvel's name when he threatened them to dropping jawbreakers, along with threats of physical violence being committed against people at Antarctic Press if they did not do what Wade ordered. Sabolsky called Wade and basically demanded he kill all of his social media profiles and basically go off the grid. Basically, he is an internet timeout, which he has zero choice but to honor, lest he get blackballed from ever working at Marvel again. As it stands, Wade's career at Marvel is pretty much dead now. Not even Wade's chief protector, Brevoort, can save him. Since Sabolsky is beyond the pale angry, Sabolsky gave Wade one final chance when he took over. Don't expect Wade to be writing any more comics from Marvel, at least as long as Sabolsky is in charge. Now, again, we don't know if it's actually real or not, but if it's if it is real, then I would say good that should have been done. Cause what he did is not it's not the actions of a grown man. It's the actions of a fucking pathetic loser. You know, it's yeah. it's disgusting to try to take someone's book out because you don't want you don't want the competition. Mm-hmm. And you don't want your books to look like shit because of it. You know, and the whole thing is, they're always trying to... These people are always trying to promote. You know, we're always bullied. We're always harassed. We're always being harassed. We just want to have comics out. And you know, when someone else tries to do it, they complete flip on their values and try to go after them. And do the same crap that but, they say people do to them. See, this is the thing. And I'm just speaking, you know, just from, like, I put before on my twitter like as a personal thought of course twitter only being limited to so many characters and whatnot when writing the thing is is that what i don't understand is why people like this would want to be doing this and yeah they're like sgws they're you know doing this shit and everything else but i mean seriously if you don't like a product don't be doing this it's childish it's stupid it's disgusting and, you know, the thing is, is that simply what this guy could have done, too, is saying, you know, I don't support it. I don't like it. But, you know, or say simply it's not his cup of tea and, you know, be about his merry fucking way. But, no, he wanted to, you know, do everything in his power. And apparently all his little, you know, uh, hounds that he had with him all wanted to see at every turn and and, and if. And at every advantage they could to see Jawbreakers fail completely. Which it wasn't going to fail regardless. No, I mean, but... It's already been a huge success. I mean, it was a huge success on its own. But yet when the whole circus started, and I feel bad for the people at Antarctic Press. I really do. My heart goes out to them. Uh, But to see that they went so far is just so uncalled for. Especially, you know... This guy being at the, at the status that he is and, you know, working for who he works with, he should have known better not to do this. And but him doing this helped promote and help, you know, get other people that, you know, love a good comic or graphic novel to help support this. I mean, it really shows t- um, to, you know, others that this is how it's supposed to be as a comic book community and, you know, as just plain human beings not to tear each other down but to help support each other and those who apparently want to see anything you know ripped to shreds that doesn't agree with their agenda or their beliefs i mean seriously to me something is desperately wrong with them for people who want comics to stay around and who want people who want comics to be enjoyed by everyone be available to everyone that they keep trying to stop comics from coming out yeah and the whole part that's ironic about this that some of the comic stores that were colluding to say how they weren't going to stock the book and pretty much boycott anything art Art authentic press is doing so one of them i forgot what the name of it but one of them has a gofundme page to help keep their comic book store alive and it's funny because like if you would just stock books that sell and stop stocking your 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 comic book store filled with all the sjw crap that doesn't sell Maybe you wouldn't need that GoFundMe page, but you're yeah. p- you're pathetic, and that's why your store's dying. And you th- you think people are gonna give money to you to keep it alive when you act you actively won't give customers what they want. You're trying to force what they should want, 
and it's stupid and it's like and it's disgusting yeah. and then you have people like eric larson trying to say trying to straw man pretty much saying hey well not every store is going to order every book that comes out that's not, not the case it never was the no, case he never... keeps trying to go around the whole case and trying to make up this bullshit the problem is not that the stores weren't going to stock it they don't have to stock it that's their right yeah. they don't have to but but they even said even if a customer came in and special ordered it they would not get it for them which is stupid which, stupid business wise because yes. your whole point is to, is to is to make money second of all you want to keep your customers happy so they keep coming back but you doing that's gonna make them go somewhere else so he, it's, a, it's stupid to do it either way and one it's just petty it's like you 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 don't have to read it. This guy just wants to read it. So just buy the book for him and you're getting business, you're getting money, you're keeping him happy. But it's not even just that. They they were going to boycott all of Antarctic Press and not get any more books from them just because this one book. Yeah. And it's like you people are disgusting. It's like why do this over one book? Don't you want money? Don't you want business? You're going against. Did you guys skip business 101? <laughs> because this is not how you yeah. run a business. And if you think you're going to stay alive for years to come being like this, you're wrong. Because you're going to lose money. Especially if all you're, all you're doing is stocking all these Marvel books that are complete trash and nobody's buying. If you think you're going to survive with just those books, you're in for a rude awakening. Well, because you're only serving to a small group of people. I mean, that's just like, you know... Okay, somebody opens a comic book store, they're running it, but yet all they sell are, or all they ever have is just, you know, a certain type of thing like Spawn or Punisher, you know, and they're strictly selling that. You think that they're going to survive off that? No. Exactly. No way. I mean, I'm sorry to say, but th it always kind of makes me giggle. And anybody who's listening to this, uh, if any of y'all, and I know it's an old movie, so probably have seen it well, at least once, as uh, uh, Joe Dirt. Because I know there's one part in that movie, if I'm correct, that, you know, this guy's selling fireworks, but he's only selling what he likes. You can't be doing that. I mean, there's going to be things that you like and then things that you don't like. And that's okay. You know, that's fine. But at least, you know, if you want your business to run well and, you know, to succeed, you have to cover different aspects and not just your own. You know, and it's even dumb. That guy from Big Bang Comics was trying to say shit like, you know, like, well, he put it online first and said, you know, we're not going to support Jawbreaks from Antarctic Press. That's fine. But do you report about every book you're not going to support? Do you do that yeah, for all the books? That's I, what I'm wondering. I don't think so. So why did you even put that on, on Twitter? I mean... I mean, what's the point? I mean, do you announce every book you're not going to order? If not, then you're being petty as hell. And you did this on purpose, which is... Which yeah. obviously did. And it's stupid because w once he did that, sales increased a lot more once he did Drastic. that. It's like, you're an idiot, dude. I mean, and then trying to say, well, he doesn't have to order it. Yeah, but do you have to announce you're not going to order it? No shit. I mean, what store? I've, I've never seen a store on Twitter announce what books they're not ordering. I've seen them say, yeah. we're, we're going to have these books, these books. I've never seen them say, we're not ordering this book. Like, who, who does that? Who does it? It, yeah. it, it looks stupid. It makes you look like an asshole. It makes you look petty. And it's just like, it's just, it's just disgusting. And, it is. and you, and you would, you would think as a comic book owner, like if I was a comic book owner and I saw this book doing so well in, in Indiegogo, I'm not going to break the bank on the book and buy a shitload of copies of them, no. but I'm going to buy, I would say at least five and see if it sells. And if, and if it does sell, then I'll order more of them, you know, and I'll, mm -hmm. I'll do at least that to see, test the waters with it. But to say that, you're not going to buy them? Fine. But to announce that, that's just weird. And then saying if somebody asks if they can have it, you're going to say no. No. I was like, do you not like money? <laughs> do you not Do you not like that's having a roof over understand. your head? Or at least, you know, refer them. And apparently that I had seen something along the lines of that. But referring them to somewhere else where they may get the service that they want or need or, you know, get the item that they so deserve, that they want, I should say, you know, Okay, you know, you're doing the right thing. But I mean, still, as a business person and you running your own comic book business or whatever, you think that you would do, you know, whatever it takes to keep your business afloat. And, 
What's stupid, another comic book story that said they weren't going to do it following suit after Big Bang Comics did it, was that variant edition. They said the same thing. and But they said, it does not appeal to our demographic, and we want to actively support creators who have promoted harm to friends, colleagues, and stra- strangers. Which is funny, because I'll bring that up in, in a little bit, because mm-hmm. that part's bullshit. But he says, it does not appeal to our demographic. And I put a tweet out that says, how does a comic that aims to be a fun action comic not appeal to comic readers? It would seem you are assuming they won't like it. You should just say, I personally don't like the creator and that is why I'm not stocking it. Instead of assuming what comic book readers will like. Now, what's stupid about this, your demographic won't like it. Did you poll all of them? Did you ask every customer that came in if if they wanted this book? You probably did not. And second of all, what comic book reader doesn't want just a simple plain, fun, action comic that's drawn well, colored very well, and has a possibility of just being a fun book. Who wouldn't want that? I mean, I mean it doesn't make any it's sense. It's pretty much, to me, it just sounds like a traditional comic that somebody would enjoy. I mean, do you think these comic book readers want Squirrel Girl? No. no. That's why it, it sells terrible, which is why uh, half those those Marvel books have been canceled multiple times, and it's like, you think this is what fans want? They don't want this shit. And then... The second part where I said, he said, we will not actively support creators who promote harm to friends, colleagues, and strangers. Did you carry any books by Michelle Perez or Mags Visaggio? These people constantly threaten people. Mags said she was going to beat people up with a, with a baseball bat. Michelle Perez said she wished he, well, said he wished diversity in comics was killed in an IED bomb. Which is by, really jacked know, up. And it's just like, so you don't support creators who promote harm oh do you carry their books because if you do then you are supporting creators that pr- that promote harm to people oh because yeah. i guess because he's not your friend or a colleague but you also said strangers that that means he qualifies too and you're being a hypocrite yeah. that's that's what that's what really pissed me off when i saw that statement i'm like you have i guarantee you got their books and, and they're worse online. They're always promoting harm against people. And they're always saying they're going to beat up people. They hate this person. Fuck this guy. He's a he's a cis white male. Fuck this. And it's like, that's, that's all they talk about. But see, this is the way I see them, is that they're all, you know, huff and puff and, you know, fire breathing dragons online. But are they actually like this in person? That's what I want to know. Because that's the thing, is that, you know... We've all worked jobs, whether it's in retail or anything else. But, I mean, the thing is, is that you'll always have your people that are over the phone that you talk to. And they can be the worst people that you will ever talk to. And it's the same thing on here. Like, whether it's Twitter, Facebook, any type of social media, you will have that. But to get the person face-to-face, a lot of the times, they won't do anything. Yeah. And, I mean, and if they do... I mean, there's something really wrong with them. I mean, and I'm not trying to sound like a total asshole here or anything and say, you know, oh, well, they're fucked up in the mind. No, but to say things such as you wish that they would die or you're going to beat somebody up with a baseball bat. What kind of person are you to wish something like that? If you don't like this shit being done to you and you don't like people bullying you, why do it to another person? I would say they're fucked up. Why would you still... Steep that line. I would say they're fucked up in the mind because you're doing all this over a book. Yeah, it's I mean, a fucking book. You're you're, pa- you're pathetic. It's yeah, simple, simple as that. There's, people, no, there's no if, ands, or buts. You're pathetic. I'm sorry. We're all humans here. And yeah, there's going to be people we can't stand and everything else. And, you know, we may be pissed off. But to come to that point where you're threatening somebody's livelihood, you're threatening somebody's personal life, you're threatening to beat the shit out of them, or you wish they would die in a thing. I'm sorry, that's just you know, taking it too I'm far. I'm all for any creator making any book they want. Let let it go on the shelves and let's see if yeah. people buy it or not. That's how we know what's good and what's not. I Like when, when DC announced the Young Animal line, which they have basically canceled now because it sucks, but mm-hmm. when they said Mags Visaggio was making Eternity Girl, did I... I didn't go to her and, no. and threaten her. I didn't threaten DC Comics saying you better not publish this book. You know, I said, I saw it on the stands. I said, looks like shit. I ain't buying it. Simple as that. I, I didn't get on Twitter and start uh, bullying her not to get to not make no, it. You know, I didn't bully DC not to make, to not publish it. It, it looked like a crappy book. So what do you do when you see a crappy book? You bypass it. You don't buy it. That's what you do. You either buy a book or you don't. These people don't understand that. And, yeah. and the same thing with, uh, 
with freaking Michelle Perez as the pervert, which is just a, a anthrop- anthropomorphic dog who kind of looks like Snoopy sucking cock all day. That, that's all the book is. And it's like, it was a crappy book, but I didn't go... It looks, tr- I'm sorry. I didn't go try to make sure it did not get released. You can make it all you want, and it's going to fail regardless, which it did fail. So I don't care. Um, the book shipped around over barely a thousand copies. That's pathetic. Which is kind of that's though, very pathetic. That's, you know, and and they're trying to say, well, jawbreakers won't appeal to our demographic, but a fucking dog sucking dick all day that appeals to your demographic. And then apparently something that looks like fucking Cl- Clifford, the big red dog in I, the fucking I know. book. I was looking up the, the pages of the book. There's a dog in there that looks like Clifford, the big red dog. And I'm like, I'm like, do the people fuck? do the people that own Clifford know I was that? Like, Dude, I don't want to see a big red dick on something that, that they put. Clifford in this book, I mean, like, do they know that? Because they might sue their her, his, yeah, that's his what I'm ass saying. for that and shit. Like how we were talking about this when we saw it the first time. You know, I was thinking, I was just like, okay, if somebody sees this from that company, there could probably I mean, be personally. A I, I, personally, I find the book disgusting because it's drawn in a way that would attract kids. But if any kids yeah, saw it, they would be traumatized by what they're to seeing. Me, it looks like a children's it's, book. It's a disgusting book, regardless. But. I do believe that Jackass has the right to make that book. Yeah. And, and I have no problem with him making it, with him publishing, them publishing it. I have no problem with that. You know, it's, it's disgusting. But that's why, if I don't like it, I just won't pick it up. Yeah. But to go Simple out, to that. go out of your way and try to strong arm a publisher and say, you better not release this book is just disgusting. It's, yeah. It's, and personally, I felt more upset about it. Not because I, I have a, a gain in this whole thing. I don't. I'm just a fan. What pissed me off is that. Antarctic Press is a smaller publisher, and they're from San Antonio. That's where I'm. That's where I reside. That's where I'm from. And to see someone that's from here being harassed and bullied by a bunch of assholes that don't want to see a book because it makes their books look like shit, and it proves everything Diversity in Comics was saying that if yep. he made a book, he would easily outsell theirs. And they said, "Nah, you won't do shit." And, and then he, once he did, he did it, and they couldn't take it, and they decided, "No, we never got to make sure it does not get into stores. We got to make sure we, it gets canceled or Stop something." Stop it at all costs. And it's like you people are you know, losers. It's fucking, you don't belong to be in the industry. You don't belong to be in any industry. And if you're gonna act that way, it's disgusting. Yeah, especially you know when you're making your own books. I mean, that whole you know the pervert thing. Okay, I saw some reviews, and some people are like they can relate to it, and you know. It's something that, you know, they feel like, you know, brings them comfort. Okay, good. Cock sucking Snoopy. That's all I it mean, is. I mean, it's not my type of book. I'm going to say that right now. It's not my type. And, you know, there's probably already people saying, oh, it's not meant for people like you. I don't give a shit who the fuck it's meant for. But if it makes somebody feel comfortable and makes them feel like more accepted by reading this book, okay, you know, you know good for you. We all want to feel like we belong somewhere. But to go as far as to turn around... You know, and do such things to, you know, a smaller publisher and especially to people at Antarctic Press. It's just downright disgusting. Yeah. Here's here's the thing also. When, when Variant Edition and Big Bang Comics announced that they weren't going to support the book, right? There were comments on Twitter of people saying, thank you. You know, I, this is why I love you. And then you look in their Twitter account, there's not one mention of them buying comics ever. So you're that's try- what pisses you're, me off. You're trying to uh, uh, you're, tra- you're trying to please people who don't even <laughs> shop at your store, people who don't even buy comics, and you're trying to throw out people who would go to your store and would buy comics. You're pleasing the wrong Where's people. Where's the fucking sense in that? Is what I want to know. It's like you're too busy trying to please people who don't read comics, who don't support comics, yeah. than actually supporting the people who want to give you their money. Which is why the comic industry is an, is in the crap hole it's in. It makes no sense why they would do this. It's stupid. And, and I saw multiple people that I went into their account. Not one of their mentions talks anything about comics. So why are you thanking this published this store, saying thank you for not supporting them? Well, were you gonna buy the book? No. no. Were, were you gonna buy any well, book? Then no. Why the then why do you even give a shit? You don't. You don't yeah. buy books regardless. Why are you even chime in saying thank you? Why? Because oh, because you think they they're harassers, and then we, we got to fight the good fight against harassers. Even though you're supporting someone who's doing something unethical, and people yeah. who are being harassers and bullies to a smaller smaller publisher, you're, you're a hypocrite. Yeah, they're as doing as things that. that are completely unethical, that are completely downright illegal, and you know, it's just why would you want to support that? Seriously, because I mean, it supports their values. It's stupid. 
Just okay, you stupid. have your fucking values, but to shove it down on somebody else and to the point where it comes to a sh- total shitstorm the way it has now, it's completely, you know, downright stupid to me. I don't, I don't know what's happened recently, but for some reason, comics m- mainly, but a lot of places now are just filled with people running these businesses that don't run it like a business. They don't care about yeah. profits. All they care about is, I want to have my little group, of cl- my special club, and we're going to throw out everyone who's not like us. And it's like, you're not making no money. Yeah, but we, we got a club now. And it's like, you got no money. I was like, okay, then build a fucking, you know, clubhouse out in the fucking back, your own fucking backyard. I mean, because label it whatever nobody, the fuck you Nobody want. does anything right now that's good business-wise. I mean, DC... It's kind of smart by them saying that young animal line sucks. And they're saying, well, we're going to let them finish off their books and that's it. Because, you know, it, yeah. they see this is not working. Get rid of it. While Marvel is refusing to cancel crap books like Squirrel Girl that nobody buys, that nobody wants. And it's like, it's on, the writing's on the wall. Those books are terrible. They got bad art, bad writing, and you keep publishing them. And how many times are you going you're gonna to cancel Miss Marvel just to bring her back? People don't like her. She's not a good character. She's not. She doesn't look appealing. Yeah. She doesn't act appealing. And then yet they try to push this in Infinity War, trying to show at the end. Oh, Miss Marvel's coming. No one in the theater gave a shit. And it's like Marvel thinks Miss Marvel is like the most popular character of all time in comics. Like no one, no one gives a shit about Miss Marvel. You know, and it's just like Marvel and all these people who are running Marvel, they don't know what business is supposed to run like. I mean, mm-hmm. when you compare. The way these companies ran 90s, 90s and down words like before back the, in the day. You saw <laughs> these, these guys were making lots of money, selling lots of books. Now you guys are selling nothing. And you're proud about that. I mean, it makes no What's sense. What's there to be proud of? Because I'm writing what I want to write. And I don't care if people like it. And if they don't like it, they're, they're harassing me. And they can't say bad things about it because they're attacking me. That's what they feel like. That's what, that's what they sound like. That's what they act like. It makes you no sense. You can't even just give them basic criticism and it seems like they feel they're always being attacked. It's just like, what the fuck's with you? Either learn how to take some criticism and improve yourself, let yourself grow through that, or, you know, just get the fuck and out of the people kitchen. And these people wonder Don't why... why the, if you can't handle the heat, get the fuck out of the These people wonder why these YouTubers, they, they, they nag, not nag, but, you know, they bag on these these. Uh, comic uh, creators and they go well is it any coincidence how all the ones they bag on are are trans or people of color or women it's not because of those reasons it's because you use those things to get where you're at even though you didn't deserve to be there yeah that's the problem like brian brian for uh max visaggio was known as brian visaggio no one gave two shits about this guy for years for years once he became max visaggio all of a sudden he was important now and it's like, he's using that trans thing as a way to push himself up. Did any of you people who like Mags even care about him when he was Brian? No. None of you gave a shit about him. It wasn't until he became Mags. Now you like him. And, and that's why they're all doing this. It, it helps them get pushed up. Because now Marvel has so many people who are there who have really no talent, no experience. And yet they're there. They should not be there. And people who do have experience talent get kicked out because... They don't follow the same politics that you follow. Like, like John Malin, you know, pretty much at Marvel, pretty much everyone pretty much bagged on him because he wasn't like them, which is why he left. And I think he's probably doing better now that he's not with them. And it's like, you people are just disgusting. It's like, you don't, you don't want, you don't even want to sell comics. <laughs> you're happy with these low ass numbers on that you're, that you're selling. It's pathetic. You know, books used to sell so much more. You're selling nothing and you're proud and of it. This is the thing is that. I could care less. I mean, I talk to, I mean, I talk to people and do I care about the color of their skin? No. Do I care like who they fall in love with? No. Do I care about their personal beliefs? No, because that's theirs. But as soon as you turn around and start trying to shove it down somebody else's throat or my own, you know, and you say, oh, well, it's offends me. I was like, and you're not offending anybody else by what the shit you're doing. That's the thing is that they're so quick to turn around and say that everybody's harassing them, even though they're just pointing out something that they may have been flip flopping on or, you know, at any point, you know, pointing out something 
to them or, you know, asking them a simple question, all of a sudden they're fucking offended. Yeah. These people, they talk about diversity all they want, right? Diversity. But yet they prevent it. They don't want diversity. They want everyone to be just like them. Yeah. And it's not, that's not real diversity. No. You don't want that. I mean, I mean, it's like, okay, with me. Since I'm defending these people, they would say I'm probably an angry white male. I'm probably a, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm probably a Republican and shit. First of all, I don't give two shits about politics. None whatsoever. I don't care about the Democrats. I don't care about the Republicans. They're, they're both garbage in my eyes. I don't give a shit about political stuff. I'm not white. Okay. You know, I, I'm, a, I'm Hispanic. So don't, don't, don't think I'm just some angry white guy. No. And yeah. I may be straight. But I, I have never, ever hated anyone because of their sexuality no. or their colors. I don't give a shit. I always believe you should be who you are. You should, if you're gay, you're gay. What, I don't care. It, it yeah, doesn't, it doesn't I mean, hurt that's me. That's the way I am, too, is that you do you. You do what makes you happy because nobody else is going to care for you except but you. But see, but since I, I've been blocked by lots of these people. And, and it's because I follow diversity in comics. And they automatically assume he's a hater, he's a racist, he's a bigot. He's a, I'm like, huh. you know, anyone who knows me, I've always been for... You know, gays having their rights, or people are yeah. are are against slavery, or against people being treated because of different because of being people people are racist. I've always been against that shit. Yeah, I hate and, that shit. And these people, they say they're against racism, but they're always attacking white people. Yet they're promoting it I'm themselves. Like, I'm like, you're the racist person, you know. And especially when all your books, you don't care about actual story or personalities. All you care about is what their sexuality is. And what their color is. That's all you see: color and sexuality. You guys are one track mind, and you're not you're not diverse. I mean, there's nothing diverse about you guys, especially when all of Marvel. Let's say they're all like far left people. Yeah. How's that diversity? And then the ones who are on the right side, on, on the right, or maybe maybe they're far right, or just just on the right. There, you have them afraid to even come out and say that because you're gonna attack them. You're gonna force them out of their job. I mean. They call all these people Nazis and shit. None of you guys even know what a fucking Nazi is. And because Nazis they, don't do this shit. No. You know, Nazis, the, the whole thing where they were soldiers following orders by a madman and they were killing people and killing babies and, you know, trying to cause genocide to a people. That's what a Nazi is. A guy, a guy who's Republican is not a Nazi. I mean, don't get that twisted. Yeah, that's stupid. A guy who supports this view for a comic is not a Nazi. I, I, I'm so sick of the term Nazi at this point. They just it just gets thrown around it's all thrown over the place. Thrown around very freely. I mean, and it makes no sense. Nobody understands exactly what. It is. And it's probably very offensive. I would I would assume to Jewish people who have, say some of the older ones who survived the Holocaust that you're calling this random guy a Nazi. But you 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 have not experienced what a Nazi is firsthand. You don't know what a Nazi is. These these guys these these veterans who survived World War II they saw these guys up close. Man, they were scary. They're out there fighting, trying to protect people. You guys just think, oh, you like this guy, you nuts. And it's like, you're, you're, like, you're a dumbass, dude. And, I mean, all this shit with the SJWs, you know, you want to believe what you believe. Okay, you know, go, like I said, go do you. You know, you be yourself, you live, you laugh, you, you know, live your life to the fullest. I mean, anybody in their right mind would want to do that for themselves. Because to me, you cannot make anybody happy until you have made yourself happy and loved yourself. And apparently, I'm sorry to say, and I know this is probably going to offend somebody out there, but apparently a lot of these SJWs are not happy with themselves. If they, They're not. If they have to make stuff that is clearly concentrating on the color of someone's skin and their preference of you know what they want to date whether it's male or you know male or female or whatever in between you know it's really disgusting to see because you people you sjw's always talk like how you know metal horror gamer just said all about diversity but yet you prevent it yourself and that's what i don't understand is that people that actually show true diversity and they're against it. Yeah, they come against it and then they're saying, well, they offended me. How is that? I don't get that logic. And if anybody can explain to me that kind of damn logic, please do, because well, I am fucking well, lost. They don't know what diversity is. Like no. I said, when I bought that book, I was talking to Hedgehog on the back of it. It said, look at the all new like Star Wars lineup. It's di- It said diversity on there. And every character they showed was a, was a female. I'm like, 
Where's the diversity? Where's in this? the diversity? In I mean, it's not diversity. This is all females. It's all it's just one group. It's like, but it's not, they see it's that, not, it's it, not that it's diverse. But yet, if it was of the opposite sex, where it, it was all males, oh well, that's offensive. Just dumb. I'm just like, really? When you just, it's like with the Ghostbusters movie. I know it's stupid. No. So I'm just like, oh my god! And I never saw the Ghostbusters movie. I don't want to waste my I time saw on it. it. Was garbage. And I mean, it just looked like garbage from the trailers. But it, yeah, you know, one thing I'm happy about is that every time these people try to knock down diversity in comics, try to stop this book, they've just been helping them nonstop. You're yeah. giving them tons of free press. You know, people. And now after you pulled this bullshit, people who weren't even going to buy the book are now buying it because they they feel. What Mark Wade and the rest of them are doing are disgusting, and they're they're, they're pissed off about it. People who weren't even gonna buy the book are pissed off about this. Yeah, and now you people are you, just you made them go buy it now. And it's funny, yeah, because these SJWs and what has been going on, you know, has pumped up. And yeah, it's funny because you'll find those kind of people on there that barely, are barely hearing about anything that's going on about the situation. They're so pissed off to the point where they go and you know purchase make their own purchase for jawbreakers and it's funny because they say oh it pissed me off so much that you know i'm just gonna support it because they see the wrong in it and you know they know that these people are just doing you know something that they love and you know putting out actual like quality of a product and it's just i'm just downright baffled by this because it's just insane you know everything they do is just biting them in the ass. Yeah. It's like you try to stop a small publisher from publishing this book. And what did they go and do? They went now diversity in comics making his own comic studio. His comic his own publishing line, mm-hmm. which is a uh, Splato de Com- Splato de Gato Comics, or then called it Splato Comics. Mm-hmm. You know? And it's like now they have a place now where the people you were trying to keep out of comics maybe can now feel free to make their own comics and go through them. So you're just helping the people that you didn't you want you were trying to keep out of comics. Now you're gonna help them have somewhere to go now. And it's like So it's like a second image, that's all it is. Because well, yeah, what image used to be. Yeah, you know? what image used to be, yeah. So, so so it's like you people you keep trying to bring him down and all you're doing is making yourself look more stupid and more pathetic, and you're helping him sell his book more. That's all mm-hmm. you're doing. So actually I'm not really mad that you're doing this because you keep helping him sell more comics. You know, and, you know, and what's it's like, that's funny your fault. about this situation is that, yeah, it's the obvious that, you know, SJWs and all this other madness is getting out of hand. And, you know, with all this madness that's surrounding it, the thing is, is that it's just, it's all I can say is just helping it so damn much. Because, like I had mentioned before we actually started recording this, is that, you know, as a comic book community, as people who love comics... And love to read them. And, you know, some of them that give us that nostalgia that we once had or whatever the case may be. You know, as a community, and this is something I always saw, is that you should always be supporting one another. Whether it's, you know, not your cup of tea, whether, you know, you don't like the book and you look down on it, but yet it's something else for, you know, it can mean the world to somebody else. You know, at least support them. You know, I'm not a fan of, Flat out boycotting something. I'm, I'm no. not because you know I felt like while there are some assholes at Image like Eric Larson who make crap like Savage Dragon, there are some good people there making good books. And I, yeah. I don't feel right to to blame them and not support them because of this asshole. Yeah. But I am seriously contemplating just dropping all all the Marvel books I'm looking forward to because I'm to the point where I, I don't think even if you support the good ones. Marvel's just not going to learn if you keep giving them the money. So mm-hmm. I'm, even though I want some of the, their new books, I'm I'm really thinking about saving my money and just either not buying anything of theirs or just buying a few more DC books or m- maybe from from other companies. But I'm like, you guys, you guys don't learn. And if it's mm-hmm. true that Sabowski did that to Wade, then that's a start. That's a good yeah, thing. A, he should know, be punished start, for yeah. what he did. And as a company, you should be running it to make money. And but he needs to do more. You have all these people. There were plenty of other Marvel people there that were talking shit like this. They need yeah. to be reprimanded as well for trying to do this shit. You know, it's disgusting that you even let them do this to begin with. I don't know who at Marvel decided. You know, what's a good good idea for business? Let's make crappy comics nobody wants. 
And, you know, I mean, that's not good for business. And there's a reason why, right now, DC's been killing it. DC's been, yeah, they have their their few crappy books, like like the Young Animal line or Batgirl. But overall, DC's books have been fantastic compared to Marvel. Marvel, you have very few good books. And the ones I do like, I'm thinking about maybe even just dropping those just because I don't think you deserve the money. Like, a few weeks from now, that's what's... Amazing Spider-Man 800 is coming out. I've been buying all the books going up to that. And I feel like... And that book's going to be $10. I feel like maybe I just shouldn't even buy it and save save my $10. Save it or spend it on DC books or, or someone else. And I'm like, you guys don't learn. And mm-hmm. you guys allowing Mark Wade to do this is... I mean... It's- it's he, insane. He spent the whole day on Facebook writing all this shit. Mark, wait, if you spent that time writing books, maybe you could become a decent writer again. And it's sad that he was more, he seemed more dedicated to insulting and slamming others. And, you know, especially doing what he did. He seems so fucking dedicated to it. I mean, where's your dedication to your writing or whatever no, the fuck it the, was? Th- that That's the problem. He, he, he spent... He looked, like, he looked like he had more passion yes. trying to stop this book from coming out than writing his own crappy books. That like he's he's pretty much fucking killed Captain America, his shitty ass books that he made. So it's like you show no passion in your comics, but you're showing so much passion to keep a comic from coming out. It's like it's he's really a low person. He, he's he's disgusting. And I'm sorry, but where's the logic in that? You know, you're in this. You know, you're in the position that you're in, and you think you're doing what you love, but yet it does not show. It just doesn't show. And yet he can show so much damn passion, you know, doing what he did online and just straight up being an animalistic yeah. person. My whole thing with why I hate these people is because they're always playing the victim and saying that they're always being bullied, they're always being harassed. And they always say that diversity in comics is he's a big gay he's a racist right yeah. and then they say this all the time and yet when somebody asks for proof they always shut up yeah, they, they have they have it. no proof and even when they do find something they try to manipulate it and leave out context or like, like, like they dug up his personal information and try to show he had all these charges on him but they conveniently cut out the part that says dismiss 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 they cut it all out just to prove to just say see he has all this shut all this shit on them. What well, did you show the part where it says all oh, dismissed, dismissed, dismissed? You know, like oh, well, that part's not important. And I'm just sorry what to I'm say, saying it's important. But somebody who tries to expose somebody else like that on that level, I'm sorry, it's honey, pathetic. but then you've got your own dark ass skeletons in your own damn closet. It's pathetic. I mean, I know. I'm I'm not looking up all these losers' uh, profile in their life. Them. I don't care what they do in their life. No. I mean, if if what if what's his face, the one who made the perfect, he's out there sucking dick all day. I don't give a shit. You can do all you want. I don't. You know, I do, don't care. Like I said before, you know, do do you? You know, but be don't, happy but in don't, your life. But don't try to you know say people are are harassing you when you're the one harassing those people and making up lies. And when the, the funny part is, it kind of reminds me of of like the, the you know they say the PC, the PC um, elitist versus the console fanboys mm-hmm. that the PC elitist while they always do kind of talk down to these console fanboys, they use facts to back up what they're saying. Console fanboys use lies, and they're always disproven constantly. Mm-hmm. That's why I feel with SJWs. They're always bringing up lies and trying to get away with it, while these people on the other side are constantly showing proof. It's like one side shows proof, the other one shows lies, and yet they think they're winning. It's like you're looking stupid. Just... And the reason why they block everyone is that so everyone and their followers just, is they're all saying the same thing, so they're going to believe it. Like, yeah. oh, yeah, you're, you're saying that, and he's saying that, and you he's saying that. Yourself, so we believe it. He really is a racist yeah, bigot. Yeah, and it's, and it's, like, it's may- stupid because... Maybe if you allowed other people to tell you, no, he's not, and show the proof that he's not. It's like, it's like Mark Wade said that Diversity in Comics told his his fans to harass these stores. And he even... I remember seeing it before. He even put the, the list out. He put a tweet out saying to not go harass them. Oh, yeah. No, he, he told them. Now, obviously, there's always going to be... Some fanatics in the group that they're, they're not going to oh, listen yeah. and they're going to do it. He can't control those people, but he did tell his fans to not do that. And now, whether if some of them did, that's on them. But to say that he told them to go do that, he did not. He he clearly told us a tweet that says it. Don't 
do not harass them. Don't do it. I'm not, I'm not telling you, I'm not telling you this to do it. I'm just t- showing you the proof of what they're doing. And that's it. But yet everyone's trying to make it like, no, he wants them to harass them and give them one stars and shit. It's like, he didn't say any of that. It's like, you're just lying and you're just trying to twist the facts around to fit in your angle. And it's, yeah. it's again, the, I think the theme for SJWs or these people is pathetic. You're pathetic. But it's just a life. like how they always say, you know, you tell yourself a lie so many times, you start to believe it. And I'm sorry to say, but that's exactly what's happening. Is that you, they tell themselves so many things and they believe they're right so many times that they actually believe it when half the time they're wrong. Well, good right now. I just saw a tweet right now, diversity in comics saying, I'm calling the Federal Trade Commission on Monday to file a complaint. You should. I mean, this is, it's fucking stupid. Now, if anybody wants to go support his book, I'd say do it because it's not. Yeah. This is a really good deal. I'll tell you. I'll tell you what right now. Okay, it's hey, called. It went up. <laughs> it, yeah, it's it's been going up. It's I called know. Jawbreakers Lost Souls. It's a graphic novel, and their main thing it says it's a team of ex superheroes attempt to save a to save a monster from a vicious warlord who wants to exploit it. Now, it's just aimed to be a fun action comic, and it's got tons of great people working on it. Yeah. Brett R. Smith. Is his, you look at his color work on these pages? It's Amazing. beautiful. It looks yeah. great. John John, uh, John Malin's artwork is is great also. And yeah. if you support the Indiegogo, you're gonna get a variant cover by Ethan Van Skyver, who is pretty much a master at covers. <laughs> you know his his art is amazing. Yeah. And there's no reason not to get this book. If you spend twenty five dollars on this book, you're not only getting the graphic novel, you're getting a remaster of the first book redone, yeah. and you're getting. Jawbreaker's book two. You're getting three books for twenty five dollars. That is an amazing, amazing deal. And or if you spend fifty dollars, yeah. you get those three books with a high quality print poster of both covers of the original cover and of Ethan Van Skyver's variant cover. So that's that's also a good deal. Same copy. Um, and if if you get the new one. Uh, he added recently the hundred dollar one. Yes. You get again all three comics, and so far you, there's ninety four claims. <laughs> yeah, you get the two posters that I mentioned before, but you also get a third pin pinup poster, poster and a t shirt of the yeah. Spattle Comics uh, logo. Yeah, and this is where even ninety four people get getting that one already. So yeah, that that's easily bringing up all their their sales even more now. It's like this book. There's nothing offensive in the book. It's just meant to be an action book that's just supposed to be fun. Yeah. And yet these people say, I'm offended by this book. And it's like, what are you offended by? Fun? I wonder if they you actually look in the mirror and get offended by their own selves, by their own reflection. I seriously wonder. I mean, these people are saying that their demographic wants to read books like like The Pervert where dogs are getting blowjobs rather than a team of ex-superheroes trying to save the world. And a, you know, just a fun comic book. This is what your demographic wants over this. I mean, I would say you got some real sickos going to your store then if you, if you this is what and they I'm want. I'm sorry, but if I was going to look at somebody having sex, I'd just watch porn. Well, I'd rather watch porn too than watch I'd two rather cartoon just dogs. Watch porn you get it on. Having seen something that looks like fucking Clifford and something that looks like Snoopy and drag. I mean, seriously, it's just, like I said, it's not my cup of tea, but for those who, you know, bought the book and whatnot and liked it, okay, that's your deal. I don't, I don't like your book. I don't like you, but I will always say you have the right to make that piece of crap. It's your right. You want to do it. You did it. Fine. I don't care. And for the people who purchased it, you know, it like, again, it's your right to like it. You like what you like. We like what we like. I mean, not everybody's going to be the fucking same. And right now, it's funny. After this happened, everybody seems to be being quiet now. It's funny. It's to the point now where it feels, it seems like everyone's been taken aback. Everyone just feels like, whoa, this has gone way too far. Yeah. It's gone way too drastic. Mark Wade. His followers or his other people in the industry should not have gone this far to stop a book from coming out. I mean, yeah. you give all this, you paint all these other YouTubers in a bad light. They have never done anything like this. Mm-mm. Never. And you're the one doing this. And even other people who don't even really probably follow Diversity in Comics are now saying, what is going on? This is way too drastic. I mean, you're you're becoming obsessive. Right? Yeah. And it's, it's like, it's really disgusting and disturbing. And it's like, 
you know, pe- people are really just taken aback by this, that somebody would do this and try to strong arm an indie publisher. Yeah. And it's like, what, what kind of sickle are you for over a book? If, if, it, if you didn't like it personally, guess what? You don't have to buy it. I know. Let it come out. Let the people who do want it buy it. Did Diversity in Comics stop all the other people from making their comics? No. No. He, if anything, he actually bought your damn comics. Sure, he tore them up after he finished reading them. But, I mean, but he still paid he for gave, them. He gave you money for it. Yeah. And you're trying to stop him from getting any money. You know, he's got lots of money now from, from you know, from what yeah. he does. So, it's like, you guys just but yeah, I mean, pathetic. You may not like anybody else's book that comes out, but, I mean, not a lot of people are going to like the books that you guys read. You know, it's just simple as that. And the whole point, from someone looking, from someone out looking in, this looks really shady. Because, from what, if someone didn't know anything about this, and all, all he's going to see is a guy who worked at Marvel tried to intimidate a smaller publisher from releasing a book. This seems like something illegal here. You yeah, know, there's is, something is Marvel wrong. Trying, is Marvel trying to stop competition? It's like, is Marvel trying to stop competition? This looks very shady from someone outside looking in. And even when you're inside, it's still fucking shady. Yeah, because to any person, you know, this is going to look extremely unprofessional, especially being at the level that, you know, this guy's at. And seeing that, you know, how he comes from Marvel, you know, people are going to start thinking, you know, what the hell's wrong with Marvel that they allow this kind of behavior to, you know, continue. No. I mean, I these people. But again, like diversity in comics, I'm not saying let's all get into a mob and bash them all. You know. I don't care about that. To me, these people are just disgusting. Their lives are horrible as it is. You know, let let them rot in their little shithole where they live at. And I don't care. What I'm just trying to say that all this was disgusting. I want to give my two points on it. And I just want to tell everyone. So why was I here? <laughs> to, to do the same thing. I want to tell everyone, go support the book if you want it. It's a good deal. It's it's not being funded anymore because it already passed its day, but you can still buy the book from him. Yeah. Said you can get the $25 one, and you're going to get three books for the price of one. And I would, I would say that's a really good deal. You're not going to get that from Marvel. You're not going to get that from DC. You're not, not going to get that anywhere. Yeah. This is just an amazing deal. And if you like a, if you like comics, especially if it's just a fun comic full of action, yeah. get it. If you, you know, just want to show it. support or you actually think you'll get into this kind of uh, graphic novel, then by all means, buy it. I, I would mean, say you don't even have to even read. If you want to buy it and donate it to a library or donate it to somebody else, give, give it to somebody else, even do that. Buy it as a gift for somebody. There's mm-hmm. nothing offensive in this book. It's not trying to be political. And everyone says, oh, they're like the far right or whatever. Or they're alt-right people. Nothing in here even promotes the Republican side. It's mm-hmm. just meant to be a fun comic. And it's yeah. like, you guys are the ones who can't stop putting political shit in your books. Because you think that's all comics are supposed to be about. Which you're, you're an idiot. And it's like, everyone just go support them. Don't bash these idiots. These idiots have already, are suffering enough. And they're, they're running scared right and now. I'm because sorry, of what happened. but obviously somewhere in their life they're just playing unhappy at some point in their life. And... Well, they are if they have to constantly try to bring people down to their level. I mean, I'm not trying to sound like a total asshole here, like just being a troll or sarcastic or anything. But seriously, I do hope they do find peace in themselves and find happiness wherever that may be. But they still... Won't, they won't. They keep acting like this. To be at this stage, and yeah, a lot of them have gone dead silent after, you know, the news of what happened. You know, I mean... Still, why would you even join in on this? You know, people who just wanted a, you know, a good graphic novel, and we're getting that. And the, I said the funny thing is, the people who are happy about it that it it got stopped from Antarctic Press were people who do, who don't even read books anyway. So yeah, what what what? Why were why you in this fight? Why put your two cents in when you don't even know what is going on? You don't even read a fucking comic. You don't do anything to support the comic book community. Or anything. I they, mean, they just like it because it supports their yeah. their, their values, and I mean, that's yeah, all I, it is. It's like, oh, did you buy my book? No, I don't buy books. Then why are you then why pleasing the fuck? them? Mm-hmm. Why are you aiming to please them? They don't like, yeah, buy your books. I mean, like me and you, we recently started. Well, you recently started getting into comics. I recently started getting back into comics because you know my brothers. They always had their stash of comics. You know, back in the day in the nineties, and I would read from there. But, I mean, to go as far as this, it's just really depressing. And to see that at least one side has quieted down, 
it's just, you know, it's just something I'm just thankful for because, you know, a lot of them have come down and I'm pretty sure there's still others that are mouthing off and doing what they want to do. That's and why. that's why I don't understand. On a business aspect, you think that they would have seen the positive side to this, which was easily noticeable and saying, you know, well, it'll bring more people into my comic book store. It would, you know, that's what they bring that's, that's what that's people. what a comic store should want. And these these yeah. publishers and these writers should want more people getting into interested in comics to, yeah. to bring up the comics but they know they have no talent and they know their books suck and they know these people won't like it so they're, they're trying to keep them out of the comic industry they're like we don't want you reading our books because we know you won't like it and that's the thing is that if you want to introduce them to something that maybe you'd recommend or something that's high selling in you know in the comic book industry then fine you think that maybe it might interest them okay i mean they even do that in bookstores I mean, God knows how many times people have introduced me to different books or, you know, different uh, genres of uh, reading. Uh, so that way I can grow in that area and learn more about different things. And I mean, why would you want to stop that? You know, and the funny thing is a lot of these YouTubers, they've, they've, they've said a lot of them actually got out of comics for a long time until people like... Uh, Captain Cummings and Diversity in Comics came out and started doing this, it rekindled their passion yeah. to start buying comics again. And then people, like, I've seen a lot of people, like, my, like myself, who never bought comics. Even though we knew of them, we never bought them. But th- his, his passion was so... It was like contagious. He saw the passion yes. he had for the books and it got us interested and <laughs> we wanted to start buying books, which we started doing. And it's like, and here, yet these people here are actively trying to keep people from buying books. They don't want yeah. they don't want the industry to get bigger because to them it's not an industry. It's a club. And they only want people and they only want people like them to be in it. Oh. And so, you know, this whole thing this whole thing has pretty much has been to expose these people and just give our thoughts on the bull crap that the bullshit that went down last night it was disgusting it was really disgusting when, when i saw antarctic press pull out of it i was like what happened and then when we found out what really happened it was just it was garbage to see what happened but i'm glad to see that every time they try to knock him down he constantly gets right back on his feet and now he's making his own his own uh publishing line and that's great for them and again go support the comic if you want and- it you know, buy it as yourself, buy it as a gift, buy it, donate it to a, a local library, donate it to someone who just likes reading comics, you know, yeah. to go support it. And, and, you know, and again, I must stress, don't start attacking these people. They're low no. enough as it is. I'm not telling you to attack them. No. And I don't want someone trying to say, I'm trying to tell people to attack. I'm telling you right now, don't, don't attack do them. it. Just, because, just, like, just know that they're stupid and they're idiots. I mean, the best way to go about this is to take the higher road and, you know... I'm not trying to say, you know, be an asshole about it or anything, but, you know, be better than they are. Because if you stoop to their level, it's just going to make everything worse. It's not going to help the situation than what it is right now. In, uh, what the hell? In, you know, just, if you're listening to this right now, of course you are because you're hearing us. Uh, (laughs) But, yeah, I mean, just... Do what you got to do. If you want to support them, then go ahead and support them by all means. And for those who are trying to see that it was being stopped in every single way, don't even bother with those people because apparently they're, like I said, they're just not happy. I'm going to put the link for the Indiegogo on, in the description. I would say if you like comics, you want a fun comic, just support it. There's a lot of good people working on it. And it's just a shame to see what happened to Antarctic Press. And I would say to people, like, like Diversity in Comics said, don't even attack Antarctic Press or try to boycott them. It's not their fault. Yeah, they they did not know this was going to happen. They, no, they nobody didn't know, knew it was going to happen. They didn't know how many assholes like this were going to try to attack them and intimidate them, try to destroy these people's jobs and hurt their families. You know, it's just these people were disgusting in this in this doing this. It was just yeah. wrong. It's disgusting. And if, it, if and if this is what you want for the comic industry, that's it's that, that that's gross. It, it, it should not happen in any industry any it's disgusting and you know like i told you before and yeah it sounds dorky and it sounds cheesy but to some other people but i mean to me it's something that's obvious is that just like in a video game when you run into a bunch of enemies you know you're on the right track somewhere 
And the same thing I have to say goes for life too. You run into people who are going to try to drag you down, tear you apart, you know, and discourage you from doing what you love or doing something such as this, you know, it's, yeah, it's going to be disgusting, but at least, you know, you're on the right track to something. Yeah. It, it, that, that whole thing went down was stupid. It should it should have it never, should it have never happened. happened ever. But it did, and all we can do is move on from here. And I'm glad to see what they're doing now. That they're still going forward, and and it's still pissing off these people. <laughs> you know, just, it is everything. Everything they've done has failed, and has just helped them in every single way. All right. Well, I think we've given our thoughts on this long yeah. enough. And I think I kind of repeated myself on a few notes. So but yeah. we're just gonna. Call it a stop right here. And again, I'm li- I'll leave the description. In- I'll leave the the link in the description if you want to go check out the the yeah. page and go support it. And also, our our links for our Twitter pages will be in the, in the mm-hmm. description as well if you want to follow us on there. There, I'm I'm either talking about comics or sometimes trying to talk about games and trying to do trying to do more of that. But you know, I hardly ever have time to actually write anything mm-hmm. on Twitter. And I'm <laughs> just there. <laughs> so yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoy. Let us know what you think about what happened. And we'll see you guys in whatever next video comes yeah. out. <laughs> so be safe, be loving, try not to sound like a hippie, but yeah, you know, just be good out there. Okay. All right, guys. Later. Later. Bye.